Rossington hits 50 as Northamptonshire make decent start. Gloucestershire came tantalisingly close to Division 1 qualification, but there will be no silverware for them this season. Division 2 beckons, but the table is a tight one. Their visitors Northamptonshire are just four points ahead of them, both playing for pride and the title of best of the rest. The hosts put their visitors into bat, but the Northamptonshire opening pair got their side off to a solid start, Ricardo Vasconcelos once again looking in good touch early on. 50 was on the board without too much to concern the visitors, the opening partners setting out the Northamptonshire stall. But after almost an hour and a half, Gloucestershire finally had their first wicket, and it was a big one, Vasconcelos well taken by Hammond at second slip off the bowling of Tom Price. Price had a second soon, Proctor the man to go, the bowler under it to take the high chance. Keogh and Gay though were unmoved, the pair playing well with lunch approaching, and despite the loss of two wickets in the morning session, Northamptonshire would head into lunch, pleased with their work, the score 90 for 2. Gay returned from lunch with back-to-back -back fours, leading a side to three figures, but that would prove to be his final flourish. 102 on the board when he was out LBW to Taylor for 44. Keogh went shortly after, unable to withdraw the bat in time, his middle stump removed by way of a ricochet off the face of his bat. Zaib and Rossington have developed a habit of digging Northamptonshire out of holes earlier in the season, and the pair set about doing the same, a bit of fight on show from the fifth wicket duo. That got them to the cusp of 150, when Zaib had to go courtesy of a fine low grab from Hammond off the bowling of Warner. Northamptonshire managed to make their way past 150, but they were a little shaken up. Goldstone joined Rossington, and the Northamptonshire keeper was starting to enjoy himself as the session wore on, the partnership putting 200 runs on the board for their side. And then the skipper played his way to a rapid and well-deserved 50. His half-century came off just 58 balls. They found their way to tee at 218 for 5, little to separate the sides so far. The Northamptonshire pair added 14 to the total before the gloom in Bristol got too much for the umpires, and the players were escorted from the field of play, and they wouldn't return, conditions refusing to improve as the evening wore on. Good progress for the visitors had been halted by the conditions, and that may frustrate them. They look to have made the better start of the two sides. Captain Adam Rossington will be hoping to build on their decent total so far, but Gloucestershire won't be put off. The match is still in its infancy with a long way to go. A delicately poised second day awaits.